What's going on guys? My name is Nick and today I thought I would talk to you about my thoughts and feelings on The Flash Season 6. Um, just a little review and recap. Um, just my thoughts and feelings on it. Not too big a deal. I mean, The Flash just ended three episodes shorter than all of us were anticipating. Um, little background, I've been a pretty big Flash fan since the beginning. I remember I started on a whim because I saw something on Twitter back when the first season started like this show is amazing it's really good some of you probably found out through other people on social media as well I think I started around six or seven of the first season I remember I just binge watched that first six to seven episodes and I was automatically hooked I mean the first episode hooked me right away but that first episode um, or that first six to seven block of episodes were already enticing enough for me to just keep watching and then right around the point of reverse flash and thawne being revealed at the uh, mid-season point is when it really sold me as one of my favorite superhero shows um but anyway a little recap let's just get into the season so season six for me um as a whole is good i really like this season uh i was so disappointed with the last two seasons because of just how much the show had just been pushed into the ground um, behind the scenes I know that I believe um, the original showrunner left at the end of season three um, not exactly sure I believe it's sexual assault allegations or it might have been um, abusive I don't know there's there's a couple different things I remember reading about why the showrunner left so by season four you get um, Todd Helbing to take over and I always thought he was a big impact of the show like I always thought he did a good job in those first three seasons but I think then giving him the reins didn't exactly help because what he wanted to do was basically just keep the show going as formulaic so season four felt like he was trying to do season one and it's like you can do that but you're not adding anything fresh you're not adding anything new or worth watching so when season four started i mean first episode you're like okay it's we'll see what happens but you got the thinker you got elongated man coming in which i do like ralph so he's one of the better parts of that season um it just it was really bad timing i think all over the place for uh the flash to lose um speedster villains and then change showrunners and then just go in that direction i mean if you like that season that's awesome i don't particularly like that i don't know it just it did not click with me i remember waiting week to week hoping for just one of those amazing flash episodes and my favorite episodes were mostly in that first half of season four and then that one flash time episode was probably the only other one I really liked like it was not my favorite season um, sorry I went on a tangent there about season four just because of how disappointed I was in that season six though is really good um, since you got Eric Wallace taking over I'm really psyched about him he seems to really know what he's doing uh, after season five ended which I did like that finale season six starts really close to a uh, where season five ended i mean i think it was just a couple seconds it's been a while since i watched that first episode but i remember this season way more than i do of season four and five um granted it's the recent season but first episode with the whole um central city hole in the sky and then you meet chester and camilla um comes back in a more prominent role i don't know and then the whole like uh you being able to see more exterior shots of different places like uh, star labs and then you can see um joe's house like the backyard like there's just so many more refreshing things just the color palette seem more refreshing i did like blood work obviously it was a short-lived villain for eight uh episodes um dealing with the whole crisis thing so the first half definitely feels completely different than the second half but as we all know blood work came back in the second half and that was pretty interesting to me i really liked that it was different i was not expecting him to come back he's gonna play the long game there's theories about what's gonna happen is he gonna take over um or be taken over by reverse flash um that would be interesting i mean i've always liked thawne uh 
probably my favorite villain. If the show doesn't end with Thawne, I'd be a little disappointed, but uh, that's another video. Basically, though, this season, uh, I would rank it definitely higher than the last two seasons. I think, for me, th season three and this one are about tied, because there's a lot of season three that is kind of meh, but it still felt like the Flash to me. It just felt like it was going in a darker route. This season has a mix of what the Flash has always done well, and it feels like it's a complete storyline, and just things going all over the place. So I think they're both tied season three and six for right now. Obviously, we didn't get those last three episodes, so it's kind of a bummer with the virus and everything. I hope that what they do is in season seven, put the first three episodes in the beginning of season seven and then if that theory is true of thon taking over blood work then they could just immediately start that in episode four of season seven and you don't even have to wait that whole hiatus to see that happen the rest of season seven could be about uh thon being in blood work and like maybe trying to save blood work i don't know that would be an interesting concept or save uh ramsey rosso at least the, like the person um because he he was a good dude at least for the most part in the very beginning and I do like that actor a lot. He had a lot of potential, or he's been giving a lot of potential, and he's he's working well with it. And uh, you know, he was great in Heroes, so I'm glad he's in it. He's he's menacing. I like him a lot. Uh, you know, with the whole black hole and Eva thing, she's different. She's a different villain. I do appreciate what they're doing with it. Like with this finale, I was gonna do a separate finale video, but I was like, I can just you know talk about all my thoughts and opinions season and the finale in this one video uh i like this you know finale it's it's good not my favorite but i i thought you know it wrapped up what it needed to for what the episode was giving um i really thought it was dark how uh how eva did kill her husband i mean man i don't think the show i mean the show has been dark before but like they never really go for those like 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 when she uh you know push that glass through barry to kill him i, I really they don't do that a lot in the show they always kind of try to avoid doing those things so it really surprised me that they showed that granted they didn't show a bunch of blood or anything but it, it felt more realistic than a lot of what the camp of the flash has been the past couple seasons so i definitely appreciated that level i always liked when the flash could show like realistic um ways of uh either killing people or just getting defeated like a lot of the time they go for camp or they just they're just doing the beat him up thing uh, he's defeated like the stakes have been way better this season but like the last two seasons they just the stakes didn't feel like stakes to me and they had uh no real value in my opinion cicada was horrible I, I really had hopes for him the first half but man that, those went away the second he was just like uh, I gotta save you Gracie like oh. anyway um but you know season six as a whole as I said I really thoroughly enjoyed it um rewatch value definitely depends on what happens in the beginning of season seven but for the most part I mean I think it's mostly a worthy season of the flash the first half might be my favorite there was just a little bit of things here and there in season six in the second half with uh, black hole and the first three episodes after crisis that didn't have barry as much just didn't work it for me as well as i would have hoped so uh and just i i never liked um katie sackoff's character of uh amunet black i don't know i just i don't like her character <laughs> I hope she doesn't come back and if she does come back which when I found out she was I was hoping they would tone her down a bit but apparently not so regardless of that good season uh, any final thoughts I would have I would have to say just you know the fact that the season isn't ending properly really is unfortunate and I feel like it would have benefited from that because then I could actually feel like it was completed at a wholer level than it is now but i think those last three episodes when they push into season seven will be pretty good especially if that theory comes to comes to pass with thawn i really hope it does and then season seven i think with eric wallace running season six as good as it did um it has the potential 
to be like his beginning season and then season seven is when he'll just let loose with everything um and then like show what he really has because i feel like this season he was building seeing where he's at and then season seven he'll just he'll go full steam ahead and that could be one of my favorite seasons of the flash i hope so i've been really disappointed with the flash until this season this season's the first season i at least feel like watching and i don't feel bad about it because right at the end of season five i told myself if season six isn't good i cannot watch this <laughs> Luckily, it's the best season since season three, so uh, I can't wait for uh, Flash the Return. Um, that's about all my thoughts on it. I mean, obviously, the Iris and the Mirrorverse thing was interesting. It, it really hasn't been wrapped up, so I'm hoping that that... I mean, obviously, it will get wrapped up. I just hope it happens in a satisfying way because Iris was doing her whole, like, you know... Uh, work thing doing the journal journalism and now she's been stuck in this mirror verse and I I just I want Iris to stop being a dam damsel in distress obviously she's having to get herself out but I just I don't like her being in these situations where like it's just being so drunk 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 it's being drawn out where Barry's looking for her and they're just not together and it's like we already had that conflict in season three and you know at this point they should either be together or not i mean hell he had the whole time to be with patty and they chose iris it would have been really interesting if they chose a different route where iris died in season three by savitar and then he ends up with patty or something i mean they never have to do it comic book accurately not all shows do that and so they chose iris to stay which is fine but they just need to get her out of there and have her do her job be normal have cisco back on a completely regular basis and since uh, uh daniel panabaker won't be pregnant when season seven happens i just want them all to be together and uh not feel as just apart and separated and i want barry to use his powers he hasn't had his powers this entire season so i feel like next season does have the uh potential to be even better than six and probably one of the best seasons two the first two hopefully um, but again, those, those are my thoughts on the season. I have more videos to come. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe, like the video. I hope you stay. Uh, I got a lot of other video ideas on the way to my channel. And you know, this is just a really source of expressing opinions. Everybody has opinions. Um, that's why I'm making these videos because I want to express my opinion. And I know you do. So put it down in the comments. Um, check out all my other videos that I have posted and check out for more to be posted. So that's it guys. My name is Nick and if you enjoyed this video, I'll see you all in my next video. Peace.